Hi everyone, this is Yixin. Welcome to this video. In this week, Rachel and I will share our thoughts toward dialogue, anti-dialogue, and intellectual history about Freire. Rachel will share her thoughts mainly about Freire's chapter three and four, and I will show you Dutter's chapter two and four, which focus on how Freire came up with his thoughts,、uh, which intellectuals influenced him, and、uh, how does his theory impact the current educational and critical theory. So the first post will be hosted by Rachel, and you will see the second post. At the end of my slide,、uh, we both have a question for post three,、uh, which is about the article feminist engagement. You can choose any one of us to finish your post three. So in Dutter's chapter two, she summarizes the three main influences on Freire thinking.、Uh, the first one is early influences. Then revolutionary influences and educational philosophical influences. Although Dutter didn't point it out, I think these three effects are equally important for Freire to development,、uh, to develop his thoughts. And、uh, in her chapter four, Dutter interviewed Freire's wife Nita, who helped us know better about him and also his impact. Freire had a sensitive awareness of injustice since young age. About twelve, he began to think why people are treated differently. He lived in Jabotin,、uh, in the northeast of Brazil at that time, and、uh, this area was actually called Little Moscow、uh, in that time because there were many communists live in this area.、Uh, many of the workers. Who were considered gifted were sent to the Soviet Union to learn communist theories. But Freire found that when they finally returned home, they were like fish out of water. They were completely disassociated from the Brazilian reality and did not know how to address people. And that made Freire begin to think about how social context and reality influence community communist revolution. Freire came from a Catholic family, but he received the influence of radical theology,、uh, which means he did not believe in fatalism. He believed in common grace, and that means a grace that was not dependent on Christian redemption. And at that time, Freire was influenced by Latin American philosophy, which believed that people could emancipate their lands, recover culturally, politically, economically, and spiritually from a long period of colonial violence. And、uh, existentialism influenced Freire in the way of understanding oneself. Uh, how to understand the meaning of life by asking questions about free will, choice, and personal responsibility. Hegel's process of metaphysical,、uh, social, ethnic, and、uh, phenomenology influenced Freire a lot, and he adopted phenomenology as his preferred method since it not only makes sense of His context, but also help his students figure out their context, and it helps to build a dialectical relationship between consciousness and the world. The next aspect is revolutionary influence.、Uh, Marx's idea were、uh, for most influential on Freire's philosophy, and、uh, just like Marx. Freire believed that the world is a continuous motion and change, and a human can change the world through their work. Freire practiced this in his teaching.、Uh, no matter his students were farmers, construction worker, factory worker, or shoemakers, Freire used their work and the words from their familiar tools. To teach them how to read and write, and he shared with his students、uh, how they can change the world and make a better life through their work. 
even we see Freire was influenced a lot by Marxist, we should note that Marxists also have different thoughts. For example, Freire learned a lot from Marx and Lenin, but opposite Stalin's centralized approach and think he is a dictator just like Hitler. Actually, I'm very curious about if there was any intersection between Freire and Mao Zedong, but I don't. I didn't find it in Dada's book. Like Nita mentioned in Chapter Four, a、uh, critical pedagogy also influenced Freire a lot. Uh, he concerned how to reach human liberation in the domain ideology of Brazil at that time,、uh, with the influence of Forum. Freire developed the laboratory process of critical pedagogy. Which means the people in the classroom contribute to each other's learning and consciousness, thus they can embrace and claim their own freedom. From the influence of anti-colonial theory, Freire realized that how ruthless it is in colonization, and colonization ruined the worthiness of culture, language, and the knowledge of the colonized. The last kind of influences on Freire is educational philosophies. For example,、uh, Bergson mentioned that education should not sacrifice the vitality and reflectiveness of、uh, should not sacrifice the vitality and the reflectiveness、uh, to refuse students' knowledges. Uh, Dewey indicated that education must engage with enlarged experiences.、Um, students should thinking and reflection、uh, about the teaching, and they must freely interact with the environment when constructing knowledge. And the last one, further, he also worked in Latin America for worldwide education, and he mentioned that. Uh, the understanding of everyday experience is the richest resource or fountain of idle learning. In chapter four, Dada interviewed Freire's wife Nita.、Uh, at first, Nita talked about Freire's early experience, then talked about how his thought impacted others.、Uh, for example, Freire's idea had the most impact among impoverished and oppressed. Uh, communities because Freire really stood with them and helped them.、Uh, Nita also mentioned that Freire is so sen sensitive in epistemology and in culture. He had a natural ability to empathize, and he had a very independent and resilient mind. He was never be manipulated or controlled by those in power. Also, I found it was interesting that Nita said. It is hard for Americans to understand Freire because most Americans, especially white people, usually focus on their own and hard to think outside their social class and from others' perspective.、Um, I guys, I still don't know enough about America and Americans, so it's hard for me to see whether Nita's opinion is right or wrong. Or maybe things have changed from twenty years ago. I don't know. So we have already know that Freire came up with his thought under the influence of so many people. I'm thinking if we can consider and make a reflection about who influenced us and make us what we are right now. So my first question is: Please consider those person we mentioned above. Who influenced Freire? Did any one of them also influenced you to some extent, or whose thought make you resonate? You can also think other educators, philosophers, if none of above inspired you. And my second question is: In Freire's later writing, he criticized neoliberalism and、uh, capitalism. Uh, most of us may think, with the development of science and technology, and the reduction of colonization, 
people in the world may have a better life. However, Ferrari found that there are even more people suffering from hunger and poverty. So think about the world now, especially under the influence of pandemic. Do you think there will be more or less oppression in the world in the future? Um, you can write down your answer in this slide from page thirteen. Then we also have a chapter about uh Ferrari feminism and education. Uh, actually, the topic of feminism has been very hot in China recently, but many people have a negative attitude towards it. Even many female themselves, and、uh, in fact, feminism development developed very early in China, and there were many、uh, pioneers who fought for the survival and development、uh, of. A、uh, female, one hundred years ago, and、um, I think a lot of oppression and injustice against women、uh, in China actually come from women themselves.、Um, I don't know much about feminist movement, and I will definitely explore it more in the future, especially when it's related to education. One Chinese female educator just jumped out in my mind when I read this part.、Uh, her name is Zhang Guimei, and I want to share it,、uh, share this video with you. In my mind, she must be a feminist who has changed the destiny of many poor girls.、Uh, she sent thousands of girls from a、uh, uh, source, source, no, source west of China. From very poor area to higher education to let them pursue a good life and change their next generation. So that's late to my post three. The question、uh, under the video: Do you think that women or other minority groups like LGBTQ need special or different teaching pedagogy to help them in education, since they're、um, Uh, since our society still discriminate against gender and、uh, sexual orientation,、uh, if so, what method do you think are effective, or if not, what are your reasons? So that's basic my presentation. Thank you. I'm looking forward to see your response, and please ask me if you have any kinds of questions.